Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about um, something that has sort of that's been ticking over my mind for the past couple of days, and that was to do with how my experience with karate sort of um, is a metaphor for life in a way. The thing that I realise about karate is the fact that with me, now that I've got um, a goal to work towards, I've got a grading next October and now I really have to put everything in. And what I realise is that's often what it takes sometimes with life, like you have to sometimes change your perspectives and change the way you want things to work and change your goals in order to be able to fire yourself up and give yourself that motivation to keep going forwards and to really do your best. Because sometimes without that motivation it can be really hard. Because obviously you know you want to go forwards but there's nothing really stopping you from feeling comfortable where you are. There's nothing really to push you forwards and to give you, um, to give you that drive to realise that where you're going is actually so much more where you want to go compared to where you're actually sitting. It's also really given me insight into how um, people can look, especially young people, especially children, can look at um, grades and, you know, and belts and see that as what defines them. But really, it's, it's not very fair to do that because everyone, everyone's going differently and you, shouldn't, you really shouldn't do that because everyone's on their own journey and you may think it's easy to say black and white, like this person is a black belt, this person isn't a black belt and therefore the black belt is better than the person who isn't. But I know that there's definitely um, belt, um, people who have lower belts than me who are so much better than I am and um, there's so much that we can learn from each other and so much that we can give to each other to learn that it's really not fair to say that people who are lower belts can't teach you anything just because they're a lower belt. Like, there's nothing that quite... Obviously there's something that quantifies why I'm, I'm a certain belt, but that doesn't mean that I know everything. And I think uh, one thing that I really love about um, Connor Manning and a lot of other people I've seen on the internet is the fact that the more you, um, the more you learn, and the more, knowledge the more knowledgeable you get, the more you realise that you don't know anything and it's that, that feeling almost is almost such a relief because, you know, if you knew everything then that would be, it's, you know, it's, it's quite a burden but, you know, realising that you don't know everything and knowing that there's always ways to improve and there's always ways to get better, it's so empowering because it means that you're never, you know, it's very possible that you're not right and that there are people who know better than you and being able to put the two things together and being able to really focus on what you want to get but being open to different people's perspectives and experience like there's so much wealth of experience because everyone every single person you meet has something to teach you but only if you're open to it So that's the main thing that I've been thinking about these past few days and I'd really love to hear what you think, you know. Um, how open are you to other people's ideas? I think something else that has also struck me is the fact that when you're passionate about something and, and you know, you, you're really happy with the way it's going but you want some feedback, you really have to be open. And it's really, really easy to think that you've got it all right. But being able to open yourself up just opens you to, you know, ways of making it even richer. So I think something I'd like to find out is what kind of sources do you guys use to make, you know, to make yourself better or, you know, to, to, to find opinions that you trust? Who do you look to? Do you look to your parents perhaps or what qualities, you know, what kind of people, you know, what kind of qualities do you look for in people who, what makes you respect their opinion?
Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful time doing what you're doing and I'll see you next time. Bye.